Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good Friday. Okay, next week is Good Friday. Welcome to the Hippie Hour, the fastest hour on the internet. And today we have a bunch to cover. I want to talk about this stupid weather we're having, I, which is normal in Calgary. We always have this kind of weather in the spring, but it's fucking bugging me. I also want to talk about foxtailing with cannabis. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? How do you trim? That kind of stuff. And I want to share with you the latest on I can almost hit myself and not be upset. So here we go, my friends. It is time to clear the notifications away, to take an hour to say, hey, hey, uh, let's get high. I know I already have Josh of Josh's Cannabis Reviews. I have Neil, a blind Neil Raid. Neil, my good friend, how are you, Josh? And Tin Man, he has changed his name, The Silver Tin Man. I like just calling you Tin Man. Why the silver? Why the silver? Arden Paranormal. Arden is in the building. Cheers to you. That small toke was my first toke of the day. And today appears to be, to going to be a very, very good day. YouTube is bugging me as it always does, but they say spring has sprung, but the grass ain't riz, and I wonder where them boides is. Magic man, how you doing, Magic? I sent you a message in Patreon the other day. Or maybe I just replied to you. I don't remember. Folks, remember, we have wonderful, wonderful supporters. Gary Miller, Photos Against Anxiety, Magic Man, LT Tree, and Angie978. That without them, these live shows wouldn't have ever started to happen. And today, I'm going to try to show some stuff from Dank Craft as well. So it's a full day. Night Train FPV. Where are you from? What, oh, you already said Michigan. Snow on the ground, Michigan. Cheers all. Well, Michigan in the house. I've been to Detroit. Speaking of snow, let me show you all what we are dealing with here. Let's pitter patter and get at her because it's time to share. And my friends, look out my front door. Look at that. And it, the ground was clear just two days ago. We got well over a foot of snow. Look at that. Just look at that. Just look at that. Let me catch up here. We have Lee. How you doing? Good afternoon. Lee is in the house. Clifford, Sasquatchman, 420. Good times, good vibes. No horseshit. No horseshit. And Mr. Fucker's in the house. Cheers to the fucker. How you doing, fucker? Yeah, we got a lot of snow, my friends, over the last few days. My old outside grow sitting there saying, oh, fuck, that's just too much. And really, if we look, that shows it because that ground was clear and Gordy had to shovel yesterday. Yep, March came in like a lamb, going out like a lion, and really in Alberta, I don't expect to see zero snow until past May. And then we always have a summertime snowfall. So that is my yard. It does look beautiful. And if this were November, I'd say, look at that gorgeous snow. Oh, Gord's in the house. That gourd behind you. Yeah, I, I'm hiding them. 
I'm hiding him. He just woke up. But he says good morning to everybody. He's got to work today. He's working late. So, yeah, it looks lovely out there. If it weren't March. By now, you know, I, no kidding. Three or four days ago, I was down at the river. Birds on my hand. Carefully stepping through mud as the ground started to melt. The river was breaking open and then winter shit on us. Yep, night train it was. But I mean, weather changes. Getting used to, I, I've been getting used to this for 20 years. When I lived in Edmonton, the weather was a little more stable. But here in Calgary, the weather is never stable. We are a mile-high city like Denver, Colorado. We are on the east side of the Rockies at the end of a long trench of foothills. The wind takes many, many trips through those, and weather changes three or four times before it even hits us after it hits the mountains. And Mama420 is in the house. How you doing, Redneck Mama? Good to have you here. The ladies are here. Men, watch your mouth. I've already sworn once. Shame, shame, shame on me. Yeah, normal for March, isn't it, Neil? It's Canada. People, people down south that don't know much about Canada will go March, and you've got that much snow? Well, I mean, that much snow, that all depends on the weather flow. But cold weather in March is nothing new. Oh, cheers with some water. And there's young Gordon in the background, waving good morning. And now I'll move the camera so he can have some peace. And Steve Robertson in the house. Good morning, Steve. Good to have you here. Waiting for Uber Eats. Oh, you. Oh, you drive for Uber Eats. Well, that's cool. I hope you get lots of good tips. I hope you do well. I. You're the first person I've known who drives for one of those uh, those things. I always tip, I always tip 15%, but, but when I order in this kind of crappy weather, I'll add a bit. And folks, I wanted to talk about, I gotta see what I got here. I wanted to talk about foxtailing. Have any of you guys had foxtailing? Foxtailing can happen two ways. Some plants just normally do it. And then you have foxtail buds that just look weird. You know, they look like a, a set of hands going up, long calyxes with, but they still have lots of THC on them. That's not what I'm dealing with. What I'm dealing with is one out of my two plants started to foxtail just four or five days ago. That's my own fault. Stress a plant out too much right near harvest, it will foxtail. It doesn't hurt the plant. It just makes, makes it look a little odd. And I'll show you. The only thing I wonder about, like, if you look at this, at the back is a foxtail. That's not a good one to... I want to get the best one to show the foxtail. And I think that's a good one to show it. As you can see on the left, left up, center, on the right, there's about five different places where calyxes are starting to grow outward. And then another will grow on top and it'll soon be a line. But I am cutting these plants down in three or four days. So really doesn't matter much. But what would you do when you're trimming? 
would you trim around these because there's still THC on them, or would you trim right through it and let the foxtail be part of your trim? That's my big question, folks. All right, on Neil, next Wednesday's show, we will feature little Cindy for sure. It, she's starting to flower, is she? Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I don't, I'm not concerned. I'm not worried that I've got foxtailing. The only thing is one plant has beautiful, beautiful conical buds. The other one used to have conical buds and now it has these foxtails coming out of them. And I'm thinking when I trim, just trim them right off and let my trim have the foxtails because I'm gonna take my all my trim and press it and make rosin. Ah, uh, you trim them off, put them all together off to the side and then smoke them separately. Interesting interesting i still think i might add it to because you don't squish steve i think i might add it to you know uh, to my trim and then it'll just make the trim all that much higher a yield deb olson in the house we've got texas joined the house how you doing deb good to have you here did you find yourself a, a rosin press? You were looking. I'll have to look at those shorts. Damn, YouTube never tells me when you've made a short. They will not promote shorts that have cannabis in them. And I hate them calling it shorts. Have you seen my shorts? <laughs> You put yours in the butter patch last season. Yeah, you know, uh, see, that's another thing. Clifford says, it happens. I trim them separately and make them into rosin. That's what I do. That's what I will do. I will trim them off so that I've got nice shaped buds. Everyone likes a nice shape, but that's what he said, friends. Well, I will have to look, Neil, after this show, I'm going to check it out, see if I can, because that's the problem I have with SickMic too. I get no notifications, and even once in a while, what I try to do is all you all, I check your channels every once in a while. What have I missed? Pine tar, pink kush. Pine tar, pink kush. Sounds interesting. Eight ounces of trim, just, just, oh, eight ounces, eight ounces of trim. That would make some good hash then. Booker, you say rip of the bong, and you know what? It's been two weeks since I bong rip. It's my best morning for my mouth yet. I will do one bong rip. I'm going to introduce something new that I haven't tried yet. From a Dank Craft Space Cake, 35% THC, 4% turfs. It looks like it's going to hit hard. Tin Man, I've never made bubble hash. I always said I would. I even bought the bags. I have the bags here. But there's no way with my arthritis that I could make bubble hash. So. One day I'll I'll just give the bags away. Oh, that smells good. That smells good. Space cake. You need bags. Well, I just said I have bags. <laughs> you need bags. Riff of the bong, fucker. You said so. But YouTube will, oh, yeah, Brian, I'm not even going to use those words, but I agree. It is horrible what you can find if you, if you look. It is horrible 
it is gross. I, my friends, I'm ready for bong rip. We've got the banner up. I've got four minutes. I say we cheers. I see two cheers. I go for it. First bong rip in well over a week. I think I am on my way to curing. Knocked over your tripod, almost broke a branch, damaged a few times, low stress train. Have it tied into place. LST is important, but be careful. Don't do much of it with an auto. An auto has a fixed life. So anything you do during that life will slow it down and it won't be complete at the end. So it has a little room for a little bit of fudging, but you probably already know that. I see a bunch of cheers. Here we go. Cheers, Neil, Cliff, Night Train, Big Mo. How you doing, Big Mo? Magic, Josh, let's go. Oh, that was nice. That was really nice. How do you know it's 35% if I fall over in a few minutes? No. Small hit. Feels good. Always important. Yes, Neil. That low stress training, it's a difficult thing to do and you always feel bad doing it, but you spread that plant out a little bit more it's just going to do a better job absolutely wonderful pink snowflake night train pink snowflake sounds good sounds like a good strain and how is big mo today how is arizona hey hey like i told you we are here in cold cold alberta oh and i also want to share look what i made yesterday look what i made i'm going to wait for you guys to try and guess what that is i'm sure it won't take long cheers in canada we almost Finally had an election called yesterday, but the NDP chickened out and voted with our, our liberals. We won't have an election until 2025. <laughs> Tin man, a potato, butter, uh, yes, butter, homemade roasted garlic butter. Homemade roasted garlic butter. I was reading about how to make your own garlic butter and a whole bunch of them. You just really fine crush the garlic, put it in with butter, and add a little bit of parsley and thyme. But this had cooking the garlic, roasting it for over half an hour, and then mushing it up and making it into that. Yeah, compound butter. Compound butter, fucker. You got her, fucker. I like that. I can say that. And I'm not swearing. That's your name. <laughs> cheers. Water cheers. Garlic is so good for your health. I can tell when I'm not. When I'm not doing well with garlic, I'm not doing well. I, I, I forget garlic for a while. I just get lazy because garlic takes a while. You always got to break it, let it sit, let the allicin start to foment, foment, not ferment, and then crush it up and use it. Aaron in the house. How you doing, Aaron? Good to have you here. It's a big group for a cold Friday. Most people say they're cold today. It's just a cold day. But we've got a weekend. And next 
one week away from spring break for my boy and Easter for this house, although I don't do much. Garlic, number one essential for the human body. I absolutely, Arden too. Yes, garlic, good for you. For quite a while when I was trying to beat my high blood pressure, I was eating a raw garlic every morning. I found it a bit too hard on my tummy, but it sure made me feel good. Eat, take a clove of raw garlic, one clove, smash it. Wait 10 minutes. The allicin will start to form. It'll get much wetter. And then just eat it. It's going to burn a bit in the mouth. It's going to burn a bit in the tummy. But your cognition will get better. Absolutely. Snowing there, Aaron. It's snowing here. It's snowing again. Gordy uh, shoveled twice, yes, twice yesterday. It doesn't matter. Huh? Twice, yes. Yeah, twice yesterday. And over a foot of snow. Had to smash some of the snow off the tree because people couldn't walk by. That's how much snow we've had. Oh, no, Steve. This next dab is for your wife. Prayers for speedy recovery. I didn't know she went to the hospital, Steve. Sorry. I hope she gets better, too. This next dab is for her and you. Let's hope your wife gets better really soon. Motor head breath. There we go. We actually got focus right away. One of them, I'm going to be making rosin very much like this because I've got a new delivery of baked coming on Monday. There we go. Don't you know? Steve, you're welcome. That's what this community is all about, is to try to help people through. Ooh, there's a new Strain Hunter edition out. I'll be watching it today. Strain Hunters, Thailand. This dab, my dear friends, is for Steve's wife. Let's all wish speedy recovery. And if you pray, put her in your prayers. Oh, the kids must. I kind of wonder if the kids find what usually happens in Edmonton or Calgary is by this time, the kids are going, oh, snow again. In November, they're going, yay, snow. And they're like that most of the way through till about February, and then they start getting sick of it. Colette, call her Clicky. Well, just a minute. Let's make this official. Let's make this official. Cheers to Clicky and Speedy Recovery. Love from the hippie community. There we go. Steve, this is for her. Colette, you're going to get better. I know you will. Uh, cheers, my friends. <laughs> Magic smoking some. This is the shit. And Kush mints. 72 Fahrenheit, five bison born last night. Oh my God, five bison. I'd love to see a picture of a baby bison. Cliff, see if you can get me one, please. Matt Hill and friends in the house. I have the odd craving for a bison burger now. <laughs> bison burgers. I love bison burgers. Cheers to Colette. Clicky, get better quick. Steve needs you. Everyone, Matt Hill in the house. Matt Hill and friends. 
Matt, we're dabbing to Steve's wife. Hope she gets better. And I'm going to leave that cheers up there while I take a quick bathroom break. And speaking of Matt Hill and friends, let's hear the beautiful horn sounds of Matt Hill and his friends. Let's get on with the show. I've missed eight comments. You know, Space Coyote Cowboy is in the house. Merp to you too. Merp, merp, merp. What do you mean, merp? Rusty is in the house. How are you doing? Been a few weeks and been a few weeks with Matt Hill as well. How are you doing, Matt? And Matt, how are you? Heard from Logia? No, we have not heard from Logia. We did have a new uh, partner, Danjaru from Paris, from France. So uh, we did have someone from France, but I have emailed Lagia once a month for the past five or six months. I think he may have passed away because he is, he is not answering and that is not like him. And Rusty, uh, the tooth came out okay, but the jaw sure hurt afterwards. Yes, Matt Hill, I do think we've lost Logia. I, I'm almost positive we've lost Logia. And I do think we finally lost Hervé Cote as well. He came back from, a, from maybe remission. He told me it was remission, but now he's not answering either. So... I do think that the community has, we also know that we lost Sonny. So life, the circle of life. A cheers. That is the most online at the same time that I've seen for a long time. I want to thank each and every one of you. Let's have a dab. I saw it reach 21. I've never seen. I don't remember being above 20 in a very long time, all at one time. You know, I definitely get more than that. But And they are always with us in spirit. I truly believe. I have no idea what's beyond this life. But as I get closer to the end, my, my hopes are that there's there's the ability to still be with the people you love to make sure they're okay and to maybe even once in a while step in and help out while just 
living in a new realm, you know, without getting religious or anything like that. I have to believe that the consciousness of the universe is in each of us, and it continues on beyond this body. We all miss Sunny. Yep, that that was a big myth. That was a big loss. Uh, this channel really knows Logia really well. We miss Logia a lot. Logia had been around and loved to loved to not argue, debate. Wonderful, wonderful guy. And uh, oh, he had trouble. He had trouble. And I wish, if he's gone, I wish his young sons well, because he had one that was still in high school. Coyote Cowboy, I agree. Let's have another dab. This is to all of us. Energy never ends. I agree. I agree. And love to grow. How you doing, my dear friend? Welcome back. This is my first live show where I've where I've got this low pain level. I've never had at least in at least January mid January I hurt my jaw. I I somehow hurt that tooth that was, I only had the one tooth, a wisdom tooth. The rest of these are fake. But the wisdom tooth had been there since I was young. But it dislodged and it started causing pain. From January 15th to two weeks ago, I had that pain. Then I had the operation. And since then, I had even more pain. But right today, I would say I am at a pain level predating January 15th, lower than the beginning of the jaw pain. So just as Space Coyote Cowboy asks me how it's doing, best day I've had since the operation, absolutely for sure, and best sleep I've had since the operation. Josh's Cannabis Reviews, Dab and Garlic Punch, live resin. Garlic punch. I I miss having a garlic tasting one. BC Bounty from Pure Sun Farms. It's also known as BC Sour Kush. I'm a Kush lover. Oh, fuck. I'm a cannabis lover. What am I talking about? Thank you, Arden. Thank you. It, when the pain's going up and down, you just don't know. Am I recovering? You know? And then it goes back up and, and your anxiety, you know? Especially this old, did he cause permanent damage to my jaw? It was going in my head. But now the pain for the last couple of days has been steadily moving downward. That, uh, yeah, I feel good. And I'm ready. Folks, what are y'all dabbing on? And, oh, I love the number of people here today sharing dabs with each other. What do you want to see? Do you want to see my plants? While we dab this time, let's put up. I have a lit. Let's see if that video from last time will actually play better. I'll just... I'll show my my best plant, and we'll see how it looks. I've got I've got it on quiet. So that is Ivanka. That is Ivanka. She's a big plant. Let's all cheers. Here's two. Growing cannabis. Mm. 
that was a big one. That's what she said. And Clifford is always the first one to mention my river plunge. I will see if I can find it. It'll take a few minutes. Aaron's smoking on the joint. And I just showed you the girls. Sneak out, take a sneak out to take a toke. Happy Friday routine. Always a toke at lunchtime, eh, Brandon? I think it's so funny. I think it's so funny because boy, oh boy, I smoked a lot in my career at work. I I have to try a few different methods. There we go. September 4, 2022. September 4. So if I go... To September 4. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm trying. I'm looking for the actual. There's the video. Ha! I found it. Let me get caught up here. Clifford, I found the video. Who wants to see me doing a cold river plunge in the Bow River in Alberta in September of 22? They are pretty girls. Thank you, Aaron. I've got two pretty girls locked up in that tent. Oh, you two. I'm talking my plants. Boy, oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy. I just saw that while, and I'm about to cut those girls down. <laughs> I'm turning the lights off in the tent for two whole days just to teach them a lesson. Now, can you see a video showing me a video of you? Let's do it. <laughs> okay, I get what you mean, Matt Hill. I get what you mean. Okay, Steve Splash. All right, we're going to show it. I'm a little shy, my old man body, but here we go. And I'll put sound on and I'll keep quiet. All right, folks, here we are. Uh, too dangerous for me to jump. <laughs> oh boy, keep recording. I'm almost back. <laughs> I have to make it through all that cold water. Yeah. Take, I owe you one. Got it. There we go. Don't you know? And Blind Neil, mm, hot cocoa. Cheers. I did that because of all of you all. I did that because I made a promise to you all. And Cliff, Sasquatch man, made me stick to that promise. I kept it. Yeah, Arden, sorry for the half-naked hippie, but oh well. That I used to love just, when I was young, 
shorts. That's all I wore when it was a nice day, just shorts. I hate wearing shoes. I love bare feet. Yeah, that, I was uh, <laughs> I was a turtle in that Canadian cold water, but I could I could have uh, cut diamonds with those. <laughs> it was cold. That was freaking cold. I think we measured the water. It was forty two Fahrenheit. Deb Olson. Yeah, well, uh, it was for it was for views. It was the things we'll do, eh? I don't like putting captions on Love to Grow. I, I don't like using captions. It, it's very often wrong. Uh, so I would prefer not. I would prefer not. I download these later. Are you just having a hard time hearing Love to Grow? Like, I'm just wondering why you want the captions. I'm not... I hate to say no. My first reaction is always my reaction, but yeah, Cliff, I'm putting that up. Didn't know spam was a skin color. Yeah, I'm pink. I'm not white. People say I'm white. Oh, you white guy. No, I'm pink. There is new, new stuff on. I believed in the cold. I used to take a cold shower. At the end of every shower, I turned the cold on, that shock of cold. And uh, that guy who who believes in it, ice, ice baths and all that. And now I'm reading that it's, it, may be, it maybe makes you feel good because you just get all that dopamine and 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 adrenaline you get all those drugs that's what you're doing you're having a drug uh, a natural drug reaction to almost dying your body thinks it's dying and so long term studies is, are starting to show that it quite possibly shortens your lifespan because you're bringing yourself to the point of near death every time you do it, or at least in your mind. You here, I'm fine. Thank you, love to grow. Spam, spam, spam. Do you have any spam? We used to drive around and ask people, do you have any spam? We were really Monty Python-ish. Or drive up to a person and just look at them and they'll go, uh, pardon me, and you finally look and you go, Nyeh! and you drive away. <laughs> Matt, Matt Hill says, I see Junior. How are you, man? Doing good, thank you. How are you? Steve, Fort McMurray, we sauna, swim, sauna, then go out and minus 40. You feel so good. Yeah, but are you killing yourself? Are you are you causing damage that'll be hurt later? I agree. You feel great. I, when I was a little kid, dad would take us to uh, Lake Superior, a cabin that his family had. And we would go out every morning and jump off the pier to wake up and then go in and have breakfast. My God, that was cold. Matt says he's okay. Uh, before the internet. And wow, 45 minutes. This is the fastest hour on the internet, my dear friends. This really is. This goes by so fast. Let's have another. I say Purple Punch OG, a very unique. It, it's slowly starting to cake up. It's slowly becoming more let me show see it's a little it was very very runny it is starting to cake up starting to cure up you can see it's almost turning into a powder 
I wish it would focus better, but I hope that helps. Now to try and reset this camera. Hope that worked okay. Oh, live capture on your phone. Yeah, magic. That that could work. Oh, really? You're going to play Staggerly? The truth is that a uh, is that an online game? What is it, uh, Matt Hill? I'd like to know more. Shout out Dank Craft. I I promised them a bunch of shout outs for them to give me such nice products. Cold plunge tub used for 15 minutes every other day. I'm uh, just going add it to a list of stuff that couldn't kill me. Cliff, there's a lot of things on that list, aren't there? Aren't there? Watching on smart TV. Cheers, my friends. I uh, love to see all the cheers. Love to grow. Arden, Sasquatch, Tin Man. All these dabs making you stone haven't even smoked today. <laughs> I like a day where I can get high and not feel like me. Am I damaging my mouth? You know, I've really cut down on how much I've toked over these two weeks of pain. I've really major cut down. Oh, okay, uh, Matt, that makes sense. That makes sense. I'll put that answer up because people heard me ask. Oh, love to grow. I I am so happy to have that press. I am so happy to have that press. I I don't smoke a lot of green. Like even something like this, three and a half grams a gift, you know? I'd rather squish it and have it in a jar than smoke it in the joint. I do like a couple of joints a day, but I would but not that much. <clears throat> but I would say that press was the best 900 bucks I ever spent. It was 900 bucks used and very used. This used to produce hash that was sold on the legal market by a, like it was, it was a company that used to exist that, or maybe still does in the gray market anyways, that used this for two years until they upgraded to a 30 ton press. This is a 10 ton press. Can you send me some if you're in Canada, love to grow, you're allowed to send up to 30 grams in the mail. Always below is my P.O. box. Quite a few people here, they like to see how their weed squishes. So all I say is if you're sending something and you really want to know what's the percentage of yield, what's it look like, what's it taste like, I'm glad to do it. But I need at least I need seven grams to squish. If I have seven grams, I can make a good puck. All my stats are built around a seven gram puck. That's all I say. Oh, a 30 ton press, they're doing they're pressing a pound at a time. I I've been in the room when they press. It's really cool, Matt. It they wouldn't let when that, 
Folks, if you haven't seen it, I've gone on two facility tours and I videotaped them all. So, uh, but when I watched that squish, they wouldn't let me videotape that because it was all proprietary. Forgot to hit send on the cheers. Ah, Aaron, it's okay. We'll cheers again. We got 10. You know what? I'm not going to make 10 minutes. So I'm going to do a very quick uh, bathroom break. We're going for another sound of Matt Hill and friends. Listen to that horn. Talk amongst yourselves. I will be quick. <laughs> I made that one fast. I made that one fast. I only missed four comments. Let me get caught up. Proprietary. Yeah, I would love to show you that squish to see a puck made into a block. And then they have huge parchment and they have it arranged. And you just have this huge squish of oil coming down into it. And I held a tin that had uh, 2.2 pounds, one kilogram of rosin. One kilogram of rosin in a big bowl. And I held a two pound block of black hash. All legal. Oh, thank you, Steve. Yeah, I, I squished uh, Steve Robertson's orange kush. Uh, one of the most unique squishes I ever did. Beautiful, beautiful cannabis. It just kept producing oxygen. It was oxygenating and keeping fresh. It was really cool. The more I squish, the more I learn. Yeah, in fact, we're going to finish with a dab of orange kush. We're going to finish with a dab of orange kush. I said that twice. I meant it. And I've got myself a dab of this beautiful, beautiful stuff. As you can see, you can see where I took the dab. Not if I don't hold it still. Stupid thing doesn't want to, there we go. See, you can see where I took the dab. It's like a honey oil. It's the first rosin that I ever had that came out like honey oil and stayed the exact same for, what's it been, Steve? This has got to be months and months. So I'm ready for another dab. This is going to be a really wonderful high day. Not Friday, high day. I'm going to stay high all day because this is the best I've felt in weeks. Lose my dog and then a week later get 24 hours notice, hey, we're going to take your tooth out because it wasn't supposed to happen until April. And then they take that tooth out and oh my God, the pain for two weeks was amazing. But today, I can even smile. When I smile, I can still feel a little bit right here. About five months, yeah. That's five months old and it's still as beautiful as it was day one.
But day one through day 100 or so, it kept bubbling, oxygenating. And that is what usually cures it and turns it into sugar. But this wouldn't turn into sugar. It's really cool. Aaron, it, it, it's my favorite. It's almost gone. It's almost gone. A cheers to you all. Uh, fucker, see a man about the horse. Peace out, fucker. Peace out. And I've learned a lot about rosin. I've learned how to make how to make it turn into a beautiful, beautiful wax. I've learned what makes the different consistencies, what makes the different colors. But I have yet to figure out this anomaly of Orange Kush. I have yet to figure that out. And that's cool. The world should be full of wonder. My dad taught us well. He had five different types of encyclopedias at the house. And whenever we said, I wonder this, look it up. Don't keep. <coughs> Curiosity is only good for you if, you if you solve it. If you're curious about something, that's you, you telling yourself you need to learn more. Keep learning. Keep learning. We have an infinite ability to learn. And nowadays, we live where that entire encyclopedia and so much more is not only a push button away, it's a voice away. You can now just tell it what you want in real English. And it's going to find information for you. But remember, the information you get is biased. Always search the opposite. If you really want to learn something, learn every avenue of it. Learn what you believe, but learn what you disbelieve. So you can make a better decision. We are two and a half minutes left of this wonderful Friday, uh, a really good show, a big show, a fun show. We had a good talk. I've been in good spirits, and it feels good to be in good spirits because when I am, I can do what this show is always meant to do, is be a support, be a place of energy, a place to enjoy each other, a place of friendship. Aaron, thank you. And Hippie Jr., thanks you. People saying bye. He's got his plugs in. Yeah, he's there. I had to even see if he was there. Brandon, cheers. Tin Man, Aaron, Steve, Fucker, Matt. I'm going to always forget a few names, but. And I'm going to have missed some of your comments. And it was not on purpose. It never is. Lee, how are you? My dear friend, Lee. Cheers. Neil, cheers. Love to grow. Cheers. Yeah, I see you. I'm going to say your name before we go out. Deb, cheers. I did ask you, did you find yourself a rosin press? You were looking. There's a minute. Quick. Deb, answer. Quick. 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 Great hour. You're welcome, Steve, and thank you. And good health to Clicky. Good health to Collect. Really, really mean it. Got to save money. Yeah, I understand that, Deb. I understand that. Pretty bad economy. It needs to change around because it needs some conservative leadership. I'm going to leave at that. I'm going to leave it there. But my friends, we need the economy looked after better in both countries. 
my dear friends i wish you a happy friday i wish you a happy weekend i hope you have a really good one it's going to be cold for me i'm going to mostly stay at home but i wish you well and remember there are coming to this channel over the next few days a couple of first impressions uh, get a red gourd <laughs> space cake pre-rolls and bubble hash pre-rolls about to come to the hippie near you i wish you all well and don't forget sasquatch man goes live Blind Neil goes live, uh, and I'm sure a few others do. My friends, peace to you. And I'm long in the tooth and short in stature. Peace, my dear friends.